Hey folks, Machinery Pete here. I'm in a beautiful, sunny, and very warm Tell City, Indiana this afternoon. I'm sure many of you have already seen this, but our great friends at BigIron.com next Wednesday, June 29th, within their weekly sale. Uh, of course, they do an awesome job there, absolute sale, no buyer's fees, but they have a particular retirement, or actually an estate line here for Merle Schwartz, Tell City, Indiana. As you can see, outstanding line of Alice Chalmers tractors kind of every vintage there. And we're gonna do a little preview video here. And we've got a couple of our friends from BigIron.com. On the left, we have Connor Rooksberry. And on the right, we have Gerald Yoder. Guys, thank you for our, we did a little filming with our Machinery Repeat TV show today. You guys, uh, thank you very much for your help. I left you speechless. You did, <laughs> you did. Well, I tell you what, these, this line of tractors can leave anyone speechless. Uh, I know Connor, we were visiting before, you posted a little uh, uh, video on Facebook uh, here recently. and. It just went nuts. Uh, yeah, it did. Uh, there was over forty thousand people that had viewed it that it that had been reached, and yeah. uh, that was that was an unboosted post. That was all organic. Right. Now I think part of that might have been the fact that you crawled on top of one of those bins over there to shoot the video, <laughs> which be safe about it. But no, that was fantastic. And uh, let's just uh, talk about some of the equipment here. Now again, this is a state sale for Merle Schwartz. Yep. Um, and it's not just the Alice collector tractors, but if we you know pan to the left here. We've got a very unique item to start with, folks. A 2017 Gleaner 9255 Draper. And Connor, you were telling me this thing uh, that maybe Merle bought it and he maybe never yeah, used we, it. Yeah, we don't, we're not sure. We were told he never used it. You know, we again, we can't confirm that. Um, but, uh, you know, it's got a lot of signs that show that it had never been used. You right. know, paint's not wore on the rock guards and there's some chalk on the bottom side on the skid plates that is, I mean, it's still there. Right. So I just, I don't think it ever has seen a field. So. Well, folks, I'm sure you know, but BigIron.com, check out the listing on that item. They have tons of pictures. You probably you guys probably even have a video on this draper head, don't you? We do, yes. Yeah, I love that detail with the video, guys. And let's just uh, set sail down the line here. Now we got a, uh, a corn head, an 09 uh, 8 row 3000. And then behind it, the combine. What's that, a 2010 A76, about 1,500 engine hours? It sure is. Uh, don't know a whole lot about it. Um, I do believe it came from Blesh Brothers. Yeah, it's only got about a thousand on the set. Boy, I tell you, a 10 model with low hours like that combine pre-def, that's right in the sweet spot, isn't it? It sure is, yes. I know we saw a record set recently on a, you maybe saw on our Machinery Repeat TV show. We had, I think it was an S68 out of next door out of Illinois that brought, I think, 216 or something, a 14 model. That was the record price. So, folks, if you're looking for a nice pre-def gleaner combine, A76 right here, again, just over 1,500 engine hours. And now, let's get into the Alice tractors. And at four wheel drives, guys, uh, uh, Merle had quite a collection here. So start off with this 4W305. I haven't seen a ton of them, but pretty cool to have one like this, isn't it, guys? It sure is, especially with it not being a bareback. It's got PTO and it's got three point hitch. So. Right. And folks, you maybe notice on the window of the cab there, that was uh, Merle's brother Earl, a twin brother, I think, right, Gerald? Twin brother. Yes. Twin yeah. brother. Yeah, and Merle Earl. And had, Earl. Merle and Earl. And Earl had passed a few years before Merle? Yes. yes. Okay. Okay, well, this 4W305, you know, we've been talking about uh, this vintage four-wheel drive uh, really, really going up in value the last number of years. So I think we're going to see that here on the orange side. And if we go right down the line, I mean, more four-wheel drives. we got a 7580 here. Um, it again, was one of the last few made as well. Is not, that right? Not, yeah, it was like number seven or something like that. It was one. If you look at the serial number, it was one of the last ones made. Okay. And again, folks, go to BigIron.com. Again, the sale is June 29th. And then uh, on the one of the searches, you can find the sellers and just look for Merle Schwartz. Um, and you get this whole line here. Next door, no, boy, another four-wheel drive, this 440 with the Cummins, the triple nickel V8. That's pretty cool. It is. This one here is one you just, you do not see one of these too often. No. It's, I know I haven't run across too many over there. I think what we decide earlier they made a thousand and seventy three of them we made a thousand seventy three of these here and did built, you s built by steiger yes for for uh, alice yeah that was it was quite a volatile uh, period back then the wasn't it tan transmission in it just yeah. like you see in a lot of your semis yeah so, so steiger actually built this for alice they did yes okay. steiger actually built this tractor for and alice. gerald you your research you were saying they were made from like 73 to 77 they were made from 73 to 77 okay well, folks, you don't get many chances to click the bid button and own a 440, and uh, next Wednesday, here's your chance right here. Very, very cool. And again, 
it's uh it's not a bareback no uh, this one is not a total bareback okay. it does not have the pto but it does have a three point okay gotcha gotcha yep. we have so many four-wheel drives here That's i lose right. track it's hard to keep them straight sometimes <laughs> and we we just keep moving here folks we have a pair of 85 50s uh let's see one is a 78 one's a 79 is that correct that is correct yes okay now what do you guys know about these uh this one here believe it or not he bought this one and again i mean it just shows his love for orange tractors he bought this tractor never used it he pulled it in the shed it sat there for 15 years i got it running about two weeks ago and we we're out here listing all this stuff the tack shows like 17 ish or 1760 i think don't quote me on that yeah. but somewhere around in that area yes and again you came when you came out got it running lickety split connor yeah well i, I wouldn't say lickety split but well, it all it, depends it, on our I definition it, all it needed was some batteries yeah. and that was right. about it but just been sitting in the shed all these yeah, yep, yep. okay very cool. And then another 8550 right next door. I love the little uh, phrases that Merle and Earl had put on their uh, some of their Alice's here. So it says, since 1980, so like my... Just, just like being an 8550 in time, I think I'll become a legend. <laughs> there you go. Be a legend. Wow, what a what an, uh, sharp looking rig. Hard to believe these things are over 40 years old. But, it is. Yeah. Uh, anything uh, you guys know in particular about this 8550? Uh, the only thing I will tell you on this one, um, it... It does have a carrier bearing out on the shaft that runs from the motor okay. back to the transmission. Okay. Um, but other than that, I mean, there's not, you know, that's about it. I right. mean, well, I, I've always appreciated you guys with BigIron.com, the, the openness, the honesty on issues on tractors and pieces of equipment. You just call it like it is. Uh, again, for the benefit of the seller comp or the buyer confidence. So, again, thank you for doing that. Uh, and, folks, let's just keep going on the four-wheel drive train here. Now, this one... This one here is the one you really get oh, excited Oh, this is about, the one right? that the online has gone crazy about, right? It the is. 4W220. This is the one you really get excited about. Okay. This is the 4W220. They made 173 of these. Yep. This is number 13 off of that line. 13. Yep. They started with, I think it was 1,001, and this is 1,013. Okay. And is, uh, what's the online on this one up to? 47,750, around 50,000. Okay. 000. Did, I, did, did I mention that on the... Uh, I think you did. Yeah. Okay. My bad, folks. This is the one I was thinking of, the 4, 4W220, the online bid. And again, the, yeah, the 305, uh, I think it's only up to 28. 28, yes. which is pretty significant six days out. Sure, right. Yeah, very cool. In fact, people have been hitting me on Twitter and, and Facebook uh, saying, Pete, have you seen this sale? Actually, a guy commented on a YouTube video last night saying, there's this, there's this sale in Tell City. And I was like, uh, I'll be there tomorrow. <laughs> so really fun to get an up-close look at these tractors. Yeah, this one here, uh, believe it or not, he's got over 30,000 in just the motor alone. Wow. Uh, wow. It was totally stripped down hours on the less than 200 hours on the engine since they put the engine in in 2012. so 10 years ago Gerald they so put the engine 10 years ago he did the engine he drove it up uh, well an hour and a half by car okay to a tractor show okay drove it. that's all he did that's all he did wow. with this tractor. was his tractor or tractor parade tractor yep. this is a tractor parade tractor now, I'm telling you folks show. if you're gonna go go big I mean this is a beautiful parade tractor Wow uh, 4w220 what year this is 82 84, wasn't it? Early 80s? It was early 80s. Okay. Year, yeah. I have my I have a little sheet here for uh, for our TV filming, and if you give me just one second, I will try to find out. It's uh, 82 is what I have. 82. Okay. So 40 years old. Uh, hard to believe it's 40, but that is a nice looking rig. You can see why the online bid. Yeah, 42 inch Firestone rubber all the way around. Yeah. Look at that. Look at the tire. Look at the rubber on this, folks. Again, check out all the pictures on BigIron.com. Tons of pictures of the tires. And again, video of it, uh, of it uh, starting up and running there. Now we'll hop away from the four-wheel drive for just a bit here on a two-wheel drive 7060. Now this thing showing hardly any hours, Connor. 664 hours is what's showing on the tag. Uh, you know, we can't guarantee that to be original, yeah. but I would say it probably is. Uh, from the, the family, we were told that he was the original owner on this tractor. Mm. We do not know that for a fact, sure. but that is what we were told. Sure. So. Well, these two-wheel drives of this vintage uh, really been uh, cranking up in value here. I'm sure you guys have, on Big Iron, you guys prove it every week, too. Um, I suppose just the versatility on jobs you can do with these things. And again, yep. the cost of new and also, of course, pre-tier pre four. There's a lot of, lot going for a tractor like this. Well, it's like we talked earlier. You know, you can, you can turn a wrench on it. 
right. it's not like today's stuff where right. you've got to plug a computer into it. Uh, there's a lot to be said for being semi-bulletproof, right? That's right. That's right. And we'll just keep going bulletproof, folks. A pair of 8070s here. Now, I think these are both 85s, guys. Yes, they're 85s, and they're yep. sisters. Sister serial number. Yep, we've got 3049 right here behind me, and we've got 3050 down there. Well, and they are I think, consecutive serial numbers. You know, I'm, a, I'm a family guy myself. Our Machine Repeat TV is a family show, so these two really should stay together. They should. They should. They should. Now, we're not going to stop you from bidding on them, <laughs> right. but they, it would be great if they could stay right. together. Just, yes. just not one click. Give it two clicks, folks, and you can own a pair of 8070s here. Uh, and again, I think the online bids on these things six days out, Gerald, was they were 23 and 21,000. 21, 23 and 21,000. Yeah, I mean you're already over halfway. I think the highest I've ever seen is like 39.7 just recently. So, again, really a great opportunity here. A pair of front wheel assist 8070s, folks, mid 80s, 85 models. And the last one on this side, we got a 7080. Now this one, Connor, you were telling me that Merle, uh, the front tires there, the, the turf yeah, tires. So, so supposedly what the family told me was, was this tractor, when it originally came out, it had these turf tires on it. Okay. Well, when he got it, it had just your regular three rib tire or sure. four rib tire. Right. But he had to have it back to, now it is a Cummins re, uh, repower, but yep. he had to have it back to the original state. Yeah. So he put the, he bought, ordered a set of turf tires and put the turf tires. And Merle and his late brother Earl, they, I'm um, just obviously Alice guys yep. to the bone, huh? Yep. Alice guys to the bone, all the way to the bottom. And I tell you, as we turn the corner, you're just going to see more proof here, folks. But uh, again, we'll just pan down the line. If you love Alice Chalmers tractors or you have a friend that does, I mean, tell them to go to bigiron.com. This thing's, all this stuff sells June 29th, next Wednesday. So it's really going to be uh, something here. And Saturday, this coming Saturday, june 25th from 10 to 2 central standard time we're going to have an open house nice we're going to have some refreshments we're going to have uh you know drinks some cookies some hot dogs hamburgers nice. but be sure to come out and check it out see it in person uh like i say we'll be here from 10 to 2. So. well i i encourage you to come out folks again just the opportunity to get this up close with uh this line of alice tractors very cool and again always fun to hang out with our good friends at big iron here and hey hot dogs and lemonade how can you go wrong yeah, that's right <laughs> that's good stuff okay so let's just kind of pop down the line here and see just to give people an idea we got a 220 here yeah, we got a 220 right here with the cab duels and we've got a 220 right here okay it's uh just open station got your pick of 220s there folks and a 210 right behind yep. connor there land handler XP Series 3. Nice. Now this one here does have some transmission issues. Okay. I will, I will point that out. Yep. Well, we all have issues as we age, and again, <laughs> appreciate you guys up front calling that stuff out. So 190 XT, give it a little TLC, folks, and you'd be a happy camper there. It runs great. Motor sound, okay. I mean, the motor sounds strong. Okay. It just it does have some issues on the trans. So. And what, a 180 next? Yep, 180. So, did you guys any intel with from from family or friends how long Earl had and his brother Earl had been buying up these Alice trackers? I know that they farmed with them basically the entire time they farmed. Okay. But from what we gathered from the family, it was when he retired that he really started to mm. collect them. Build build this collection yeah. out. Okay. Very cool. We got a 170 with a loader next, a 500 loader. A little gasser. A little gasser. Fun to see those old loaders still with the rig get a little work done there vintage alice chalmers folks 170 and then uh now we get into the d series a d19 what do we got going here guys uh this one here actually it does not run uh we were told it needed some carburetor work okay um but, you know it'd be a great great project tractor for somebody to you know restore and yep. get going well speaking of the more restored look let's go next door to that d17 series four i no. It just wants to be a D19. We just want to be a D19. Who does not want to be a D19? That's what I want to know. That's good stuff there. I love that. And again, that's just Merle and his brother Earl. It speaks to the passion they have for Alice Chalmers. Well, and I mean, as you can tell, Greg, these tractors, and you know, I think I mentioned it on the 220, these tractors were not, I mean, you see a lot of people say they were restored and they slapped a coat of paint on them, yeah. got on eBay, got some decals. Right. These were done right. I mean, these were... Not, not a, just a DuPont overall. No. <laughs> no. They were done he right. had a lot of money in these. Yeah. A lot. And a lot of pride. Yes. Yeah. Very cool. Very much 
And uh, now this is the one, Connor, the WD-45. This one's just been lighting up the online bidding. Is that correct? It has. Uh, it's sitting, I believe we looked, it was at 6300 wasn't it? $6,300. Wow. Wow, six um, days out. That's something. I don't, you know, I don't know what the record price is on one, but I'm I'd, I'd sure to, like to know. I'm going to have to check. I'll just dive into machinerepeat.com, Connor. We'll, we'll find out. <laughs> also, right here, point out, this tractor has got the corn picker shields on it. Nice. You don't find the corn picker shields anymore. Yeah, very cool. Uh, you, we wouldn't, do we know what year this one is, guys? 54, isn't it? 54? I believe it. And the, the, yeah, the WC, that's a 46? I believe that's okay. that sounds right, Okay. Yes. So again, the whole lineup here of Alice, folks. Again, come out Saturday, June 25th to the preview day, and you, again, you can talk Alice tractors from the mid 40s up to the, you know, into those 80 models, those big four-wheel drives. And here's the WC. Again, I think this said 46, didn't it? I'm pretty sure that's 1946. That right, yes. Very cool. Must have been tough for Merle to decide which tractor to take to the parade. <laughs> I mean, uh, you can go big with the 4W220, or hey, bring out the WC, and off you go. Very cool. And uh, actually, a couple of nice trucks here, guys, too. Uh, we didn't even uh, mention them too much on the TV show filming, but uh, the Kodiak. Uh, what year is this one again, Gerald? 94. 94. 94. And how many miles on this thing? 35. Wow, nice. It's, yeah, it's, it's low out or low mileage, and that Ford is as well. Okay, and the Ford F-350, what year is that? It's a 14 model. 14? It's service the, it's got the onboard uh, air compressor it's got a fuel tank with the pump they both work uh, I crawled underneath it and I'm pretty sure it has been deleted mm -hmm. uh, so it's death okay. free yep um, and it's got just over a hundred thousand miles on it got like 115 or something. I think yep okay well nice rig there again f350 and wow this is kind of fitting finish here with our friends in yellow shirts with 25. 125? 125. Okay, gotcha. That we wind up with a little uh, yellow, a yellow HD4 crawler. Very uh, cool piece here. I, I suppose Merle, just as he was building out his collection, fun to go in a little different direction with a, with a crawler. Yeah, yeah. I, I, the way they talked, he, he bought it, and then he just decided to have it repainted and redone. Okay, <laughs> very cool. Uh, yes, Gerald, so now, or Gerald, you were the listing agent on the sale here. When you first got the call and first came out here, it must have been quite something to, to see what this was. Yes, it was, uh, it was very much so, very, uh, kind of a, a shocking experience, may say. Mm -hmm. Um, we had a list, we kind of had, we kind of had a, we knew a little bit of what kind of tractors we were looking at, but no idea what kind of condition that they were in, that they right. were, they were a nice, clean lineup of restored Alice Chalmers yeah tractors. well again folks uh, yeah you can imagine hey, hey, Kyle where are you going Kyle stay in there buddy no running away in this oh, deal okay, hey, Kyle again Kyle. last name Kyle Jurgen Kyle Jurgen. Jurgen and Kyle you are with Big Iron and you're located where I am the territory manager in uh, West Central Indiana West Central. I cover 16 different counties so all you... the way up into Tippecanoe down the Monroe over the Shelbyville so got a pretty big area to you cover. are moving covering yep. ground yep kyle appreciate you coming down today to help us with uh, our filming here and wouldn't miss it for the world this uh this is quite a line yeah to, not every day you get to see this kind of line up here folks and and guys uh if i could bring you all around here uh so big iron now you guys obviously your, your weekly sales uh wednesday a huge events i mean you've had up over two thousand pieces on wednesdays and and in terms of uh bidders Connor, we were talking, you guys, I mean, pushed past 400,000, yep. closer to 500,000 now. Yep. Huge buying pool. And you also, for people who are interested out there, I mean, you guys do now also, if they wanted to have their own online auction, not within the Wednesday sale. Yep, we, we just started doing that here a few months ago. Oh, okay. uh, you, could, if you, you could have a retirement sale or an estate sale sure. on a separate day. So for whatever reason, if you just want to have your own event, uh, you can take advantage of the Big Iron a nucleus here and again guys thanks for telling us about this uh very unique sale again folks the sale is wednesday next wednesday june 29th hop on to bigiron.com check it out and uh guys thanks for giving us the up close look yep thank you thank, thank you. you yep this is connor rooksbury with big iron auctions we're here at the at tell city indiana at the merle swartz estate open house
catch it in time, it won't even shut down. Your next piece of equipment is on MachineryPete.com. Search equipment from dealerships across the country to find what you're looking for. Only on MachineryPete.com.